Hey, what's up, guys? It's Larry, the Mortgage Guy Sales Disruptor. I'm going to talk about Messenger today. And I know you guys like these two-minute videos. Uh, there's so much that needs to be said about Messenger, I might go beyond that. So hopefully, you're willing to listen. If not, hey, you know what? It is what it is, right? There is a method. There is a way that you should attack Messenger as a tool. There's etiquette, right? Uh, there's all sorts of things that you can employ that will definitely make M Messenger a profitable tool for you. In fact, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, 85, 90% of my communication with my clients as well as my referral partners are through Messenger, okay? Hey, Ronnie, thanks, boss. Uh, yes, so, Maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm lazy, who knows? But 85 to 90% of my communication to my clients and my referral partners are via Messenger. And I, when I, I guess, uh, court a potential client or a potential uh, referral partner, I usually start on Messenger, okay? And I learned this method, uh, you know, and I'm going to go ahead and plug them uh, from Ryan Stuman right uh, he uh, he had a video that said something about cold calling is dead or cold calling sucks whatever and it spoke to me because I was doing nothing but cold calling at this point in my career and I watched his video and the method he taught is something that has changed my life completely uh, and I would say that I would have no career in the mortgage industry if it wasn't for this method okay uh, so uh, how do you use messenger well first of all you have to have a right to messenger someone. You can't just messenger someone out of nowhere. If you messenger someone out of nowhere, then in a way you're kind of becoming uh, spam to them or intrusive or, uh, you know, they're going to ignore you, right? Especially if there's no reason for them to respond, right? So you have to have a reason to messenger them. So how do you get to that point? Well, the way I believe that you have the right to messenger someone is number one, uh, if there is an actual reason, like someone asks, hey, uh, I need a lender in Texas who can do uh, 580 credit scores, that's me. I will comment on the post saying, I can help, I'm gonna DM you, DM meaning direct message, or PM you, private message, whatever, uh, and then I will messenger the person and I believe that gives that right there gives me the right to messenger them because they're literally asking for help and yes you can talk about the situation on the comment but it's going to be kind of clumsy and it's going to blast everyone who's on uh, who sees that comment whatever whereas you DM you kind of make it private so no one gets bothered by it uh, unless you're trying to advertise which sometimes I will do uh, you know, I'll throw in some more tidbits like, oh, by the way, I can help with 580 credit scores. I can help with one-time closes, uh, construction closes. Uh, I can help with bankruptcies, foreclosures, yada, 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 yada. You know, basically advertise, right? So if you want to do that a little bit, you can. Uh, but, you know, you do run the risk of, you know, being a show-off and, you know, of course, flooding the comment. Uh, you know, whereas you might, be, you might be better off just helping that one person because they're obviously asking for help. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, I would consider that a warm lead. So go ahead and, and handle them first before you start trying to advertise yourself, right? Uh, but that, I believe that gives you permission when someone asks for help directly, okay? Uh, so that's reason number one, you should be able to DM or PM or messenger someone. Number two, another reason or excuse or, you know, you have permission to messenger someone is if you are friends with someone and you're engaging for a little bit, you know, maybe you like each other's posts for a couple of weeks or whatever. Uh, and, you know, there's no real reason, like they haven't outright said, I need a lender or I need a, a car guy or I need a furniture guy or whatever. No one's outright saying that. And you just felt like, you know, you, you want to initiate the conversation. The best way to approach that is if they like one of your posts about business, right? So let's say, I don't know, you share, a, a, I don't know, an article from somewhere or you write a blog post, whatever, and the person that you've been trying to, you know, create a, a conversation with so you can do business with likes that post or comments in the post. That is a great time to messenger them. You messenger them and say, hey, thanks for liking my post or thanks for commenting my post and start talking about the post, right? And, you know, 
do a little bit of banter, you know, whatever. It's, it's like dating, right? Create a little conversation, you know, make them feel warm and fuzzy because this is the first time you're actually directly interacting with each other. And then when you, as a closer, feel it's time to close, go ahead and and try to set the appointment or set the conversation uh, or set the you know meeting or whatever. You know, hey, I would love uh, to sit down with you with uh, for, with coffee just to kind of talk about how we can help each other grow each other's businesses. What do you think, right? And you know, that's a close that you're going for it. And hopefully, they're like, absolutely, I would love to you know network with you or whatever. And bam, you close them on the appointment or the meeting, or whatever. Me myself. I, I don't really go th- uh, go that route. I, I go straight for the business. I'm like, hey, so by the way, you know, I mean, obviously, you and I kind of have things in common. You know, is there anything I can help you with right now? You know, do you have a file I can look at? Uh, do you have a client that you want me to talk to? Uh, is there uh, is there any tips and tricks that you need to know about marketing or social media or, or l- lending or whatever that I can help you with right now? Do you have a client who needs a second opinion? Whatever, right? So I like to go straight for the business via messenger uh, because like Brian Steven said, you close them where they want to be closed. If they're messengering me, why try to change the dynamics if I can close them right there and then, right? So that's my mentality, right? Uh, so that's the second reason why I think you can messenger someone is, uh, you know, you're friends, you're connected, you're, you're kind of uh, already engaging with each other, you just haven't had a chance to really directly talk to each other, and they like one of your posts or, com- uh, or comment on one of your posts, right? That is a icebreaker from my perspective. So what's the opposite of that? The opposite of that is liking some, uh, or not liking someone, mess, uh, uh, making friends with someone, they add, they add you as a friend and automatically message them right away, hey, can we do business? Uh, now they're like, okay, the only reason why you friended me was because you want to pitch me and, you know, I don't even know who you are. I don't even know if I like you. And you might lose uh, a potential, uh, you know, potential stream of, of, of connections and referrals and, and, and business if you scare someone off, right? You know, get them to like you first. You know, this is, like I said, it's like dating. It's like courting, right? You, you